You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Mark Hamill, you had the granddaddy. You had, I mean, one of the biggest secrets in cinema history. So how long did you have to keep that secret? Well, the contrast was when we did Star Wars, nobody cared. You know, I read it and I, I, I gave it to my friend to read. I said that this is the goofiest thing I've ever read. And then he called and he said, you're right, it is goofy. Uh, can I give it to Meredith? I said, sure. I passed it all around. <laughs> Nobody cared. By the second film, that's when the scrutiny became more intense. Yeah. Uh, the director, Irvin Kershaw, uh, took me aside. He came to my dressing room, actually, and he said, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I know it. George Lucas knows it, and when I tell you, you'll know it, but if it leaks, we'll know it was you. And he handed me the piece of paper that said, I am your father. I was shocked. I said, is, is that, is that true? He said, well, you search your feelings, and we're gonna play it like that. <laughs> and then I was paranoid, because I thought, uh, you know, uh, it was way before social media and all of that, but yeah. I had to keep it the secret for about a year and a half. There was a wonderful uh, substitute uh, he told me enough. Uh, revelation in that scene, the way we filmed it, he Vader said, you. "You don't know the truth. Obi Wan killed your father." And the idea of Alec Guinness being the the real villain, I thought, "Wow, what a spectacular twist!" And it's just as you see in the film. No, search your feelings. You know it's true. Wallop, the hand goes off. When I first saw the dialogue that said, "Luke, I am your father," I said to myself, "He's lying." I wonder how they're gonna play that liar. At the screening, when that happened, Harrison turned to me and said, hey kid, you didn't fucking tell me that. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the force be with you. Impressive. The most impressive.